Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Amadai Shakur. Have some troubling news about the four Americans who were kidnapped in Mexico. So, Latavia McGee, Eric Williams, Shahid Woodard, and Zendel Brown all traveled there so that Latavia could have a cosmetic procedure done. But almost as soon as they got there, they were attacked by heavily armed gunmen who shot up the vehicle that they were in and then forced them into another vehicle and kidnapped them. So let's get into it. The four were driving a white minivan when they left Brownsville, Texas on Friday and crossed over into the border city of Matamoros, Mexico. They were lost because they had been riding around looking for the medical facility where Latavia McGee was supposed to have her procedure done. That's when these heavily armed men accosted them. They began firing at them and there was even a Mexican woman who was just a passerby. She actually was also shot and she's now deceased. Now, officials speculate that the people who kidnapped them were actually Mexican drug cartels who unfortunately mistook them for Haitian drug smugglers. That could be the case. Like I said, they, they're speculating. But often when you travel to different countries, there are people who absolutely kidnap American citizens because they think that either you have money on you or that they can get a nice ransom for kidnapping you. The president of Mexico says the four were caught between a confrontation of two groups. The State Department has issued a high level alert because the area where they were kidnapped from has so much crime. And there are kidnappings that actually occur in the region all the time. There's many people coming over there to get these cosmetic procedures. And when you're coming there with large sums of money, you can best believe there's going to be people sitting around waiting to prey upon you. Okay, pay attention. Unfortunately, two of the people who were kidnapped didn't make it. Shahid Woodard and Zendel Brown are now deceased. Fortunately, Latavia McGee and Eric Williams survived this vicious attack. Eric did sustain serious injuries to his leg where he was shot. He's being treated in a hospital in Texas. Now, they have not said how many people were involved in this kidnapping, but I do believe that there is one person that is a suspect. This is very concerning, but when you travel to different countries, you have to absolutely take all the proper precautions. I'm not saying that they didn't, but the fact that they got lost, you know, and ended up in a bad area where there's lots of crime and there's lots of kidnapping that happens uh, that contributed to it. At the end of the day, you just have to do your research and make sure there's no travel advisories, that there's no um, high crime in the areas that you want to be visiting. And if there is, you need to know what to do. And it's always best to travel in groups. As we can see, even though they were traveling in a group, something bad still happened. And sadly, two people lost their lives. But at the end of the day, you can only do so much. You know, um, it's always best to try to find out what's going on and you should study not only the crime rates in the areas that you're traveling to when you go to different countries, but also study the laws too. So just in, they actually have arrested 24 year old Jose N. That's what they're calling him, not giving a last name, calling him Jose N. He's 24 years old and he was actually arrested at the scene today. Uh, they say that he was tasked with making sure that none of the victims escaped during the three-day kidnapping. So this is an ongoing investigation. I'm sure we'll be finding out more details as it progresses, but this is all very sad. The best thing I can say is make sure that you do your due diligence when you're traveling to different countries. Like I said, research, you know, make sure you have all of the information or as much information as possible. Because very often when U.S. citizens travel abroad, there are a lot of times where they don't make it home, unfortunately.